It is after so many years of crisis, now it is an optimistic vision. For the first time, all the countries in the European Union are growing. We, in Spain, are only second to Ireland in the Eurozone. All the Eurozone is growing. That's the first time it happened in 10 years. So, for the first time, I'm, I'm really optimistic. We, uh, we are now almost at the end of a very long tunnel, which has taken many casualties in the form of unemployed people, crisis, etc. So, there are many challenges ahead, many. We are not out of the woods uh, yet, but, but we can start building again, instead of start off of spending all our energies and our time uh, preventing collapse. For the first time in many years, we can start building. I think they are the priorities of everyone in Europe. It's, the, it's our citizens. After sending, I wouldn't say negative messages, difficult messages to our citizens from our national government and to the European Union in terms of austerity, of discipline, of reducing debt, reducing deficit. Now we have to send, to send positive messages. We have started now in Göteborg with our youth. We, have, we, we are sending for the first time positive messages for our youth in, this, in terms of Erasmus, changes in universities, changes in secondary schools, these kind of things, and we have to send messages that we are determined to fix the defects of our economic and monetary union that caused this crisis to be so serious in the Eurozone, but especially in countries like Ireland and Spain. Well, I'm in mean, Ireland and Ireland. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Ireland has always been a close friend of Spain. Uh, of course, we are part of the South of Europe, so we feel very close to all southern countries. But not only, we are an Atlantic country too. Spain, Spanish conquistadors discovered America, you know, so we, we are, we are uh, very keen on our relations with the other side of the Atlantic, and we are the Atlantic countries. In, in Europe. And of course, well, we are one of the big five. When, and they, when the U, UK leaves, we will be one of the big four. So we have a close relationship, of course, with Germany, Italy, and France. The priorities is finishing the work we started in the middle of the crisis. One of the reasons is the crisis hit so seriously. Countries like Ireland and Spain was the banking crisis, so we have to fix the banking union. We're almost there. We already have a single supervisor system. We are almost there in the single resolution system. Now we have to go for the single uh, deposit guarantee system. That would prevent another crisis like we had. Then, after or simultaneously with that, we have to continue with fiscal integration. Um, there are some instruments that we need for aligning our fiscal objectives. That doesn't mean that Brussels has to tell you where to cut, what to do, where to spend. But we have to have common objectives for some macroeconomic uh, objective because uh, that would prevent a symmetric crisis to hit uh, the eurozone and then there are things we, we, we need if we want a stable monetary union we will never have a perfect monetary union there's only one perfect monetary union I would say in the world which is Singapore but not even the United States is, uh, is a perfect monetary union but we need a stable monetary union and for that we need instruments and we ha in the medium term, we should aim at a, 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 a finance minister of the Eurozone, a budget of the Eurozone to compensate asymmetric crisis, and uh, probably uh, Eurobonds or you may call it uh, common debt instruments.